morning, Meridian, and welcome to Business Buzz. My name is Sean Evans, and welcome to our social media program where we interview chamber members in a virtual space. We're having a lot of fun with this program as we're introducing you to new members and refreshing your memory on some businesses that have been around for a while. Remember, Business Buzz asks for about 10, 15 minutes of your day so that we can introduce you to a chamber member and their business. These webcasts are meant to be a little informative, casual, and definitely fun. We want to share with you the stories behind the business and what makes the owner or operator passionate about opening their doors each day. Sometimes the story behind why they started the business is the real inspiration. So about the time you're going for that third or fourth cup of coffee in the, coffee in the morning, take a break and join us as we learn about our another great business located right here in Meridian. So this morning, we're going to hear from a local company that's been serving the area since 1990 bringing you things that you need to make your office run smoothly. Joining us for today's episode of Business Buzz is Jeff Lurko with Strive Workplace Solutions. Welcome, Jeff, to Business Buzz. Hi, Sean. Super excited to be here. Thanks for the invite. You're welcome. Um, the name Strive may sound new to many of you, but Jeff, Strive has been serving the business community for many years, just under a different name. Can you tell us a little bit about your recent business name change? Sure. Yeah, we uh, we rebranded Strive. Uh, formerly, a lot of people might know us in the Valley as Office Value. We had the big red trucks going around. Uh, and as you stated in the intro, um, Office Value was created in 1990 in the Treasure Valley. Um, we've always been family owned, always been local, um, service oriented. And over the success of uh, 30 years and the opportunity for growth and expansion through expansion and uh, acquisitions, uh, we were blessed enough to have be able to expand into locations such as Portland, Oregon, Bend, Oregon. Um, here, obviously, in Meridian is, is kind of our anchor. And Twin Falls, we have an office, as well as two in uh, Utah, Layton and Salt Lake City. Um, so operating six different brands is, is a little tricky. Um, and so we decided that it was time to uh, rebrand. We really wanted a name that conjured up you know, some curiosity in number one, and really told what we do. Um, you know, we say, I say to my people all the time, we strive to delight our customers every day. And that's really how the name came about. And um, yeah, that's what, that's where we're, how the name happened. Excellent. Well, you mentioned that it was a family owned business. Um, so tell us a little bit about, you know, the, what Strive does as far as, uh, trying to serve its customers with many different products, lines, and service. Tell us a little bit about the lesser known solutions that you provide. Okay, well, obviously um, we got into the PPE products pretty quickly. Um, you know, that that forced our hand when, when uh, COVID hit and the pandemic hit, um, that really changed the dynamics of what we did and our customer base. A lot of our customers went to home and, and a lot of these buildings that we were delivering to in Meridian and all the surrounding areas, um, were virtually vacant. Um, and so we really kind of had to shift in what we were offering and how we offered it. Um, so yeah, PPE items is one of the new things and, and it's thriving. Um, and we had to kind of shift how we deliver. We, we do offer home delivery to those uh, people working from home, which is kind of new. We, we really were a B2B, strictly B2B, um, but we had to adapt and our customers that went home, we wanted to be able to service them. But, you know, in addition to the the traditional office supplies that everybody's familiar with. Um, you know, we do we do a lot of des, uh, furniture, including the design and install. Um, people know the uh, new 10 mile interchange, a lot of those big buildings out there where we have projects in, so we do that. Um, we also have janitorial supplies, the consumable, consumable cleaners and, and such, and uh, equipment, floor scrubbers, vacuums, um, break room, we, we cover the break room with snacks, um, beverages, the supplies, plates, napkins, uh, disposable wear, that sort of thing. Um, as a matter of fact, we had quite a few customers that we supplied their fresh fruit, their break rooms uh, up until COVID hit and the break room is uh, kind of put on the back burner. Um, we do custom printing, um, rubber stamps, name tags, um, engraving, that type of, that type of thing. Um, just last week, we launched our promotional product site, again, having to diversify with the pandemic. Um, on our website, um, striveoffice.com, you can see our new promotional products website, and it has over 700,000 items that you can 
uh, choose from. You can upload your logo. You can uh, proof the product right online and order it right online. So uh, we're excited about that. Um, and we also do a lot of safety and industrial equipment and supplies. So vests, eyewear, uh, eye protection, head protection. Um, you know, I used to, when I was out in sales, I used to tell people we sell everything from file file folders to Fruit Loops. Uh, I think I'm going to have to change that and say we we sell everything from file folders to forklifts um, because we do. So, um, yeah, that's been a big part of our strategy is, you know, we've got to go where the customer is and adapt to the customer's needs. So we're really a um, relationship-based selling co uh, company. We're not transactional. So, um, you know, if you're calling or you're chatting with, uh, um, with Strive and our office, um, you're talking to somebody in Meridian. So we're proud of that. Um, your money stays in Meridian. Your, your remittance address is Meridian. And so we're really just trying to get the Strive name out there to those Meridian and Treasure Valley and surrounding uh, communities that we service that, uh, you know, we are the local uh, independent and family owned, um, you know, company that we hope that uh, you'll give us a look, look, see and a shot. Well, Jeff, uh, the other day when we were speaking, you were you definitely talked talk to me about your local delivery and fast service. That's something that Strive prides itself on. I see your white panel trucks running all of, over the area. Um, tell us a little bit about your 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 delivery and and how things have changed working from home or with businesses closed and things like that. Uh, I know you know Michelle and I. We know our our delivery guy. Uh, and really appreciate his timely uh, service whenever we order something. Yeah, um, you know, our culture here is that we're family first. Um, so our employees and their families are, are paramount to our, our business. And, um, you know, all the way, I don't want to say down to our drivers because our drivers are not down. They're way up there in the, in the priority. So, um, you know, they are the face of our company. They're the ones that see our customers the most. And they're the ones that have the closest relationships with our customers. They they know each other's uh, hobbies, families, things like that. And so that's really important to us is that we have that relationship. We we kind of look at it as ourselves as more of a consultive um, sale than it is a um, just pushing product. Um, when we started the company in 1990, we did what was called route sales. This was before uh, internet sales or even cell phones existed. Um, we drove around and, and the best way I can explain it is we were kind of the snap on tools of office supplies. So if anybody on the call remembers back in the day, we would drive up to your office, ask you what you needed, run out to our truck, put a box together with everything we had in it and deliver it right to you, right to you there on the spot. Anything we didn't have on the truck, we brought by on our next, uh, you, you might be a Tuesday customer at 10 AM that we showed up and uh, we would bring those back orders. Um, obviously, technology and times changed all that as the other big boxes moved into the area. Um, we had to adapt. So now traditionally, if you have your order in by 5 p.m. local time, um, it gets pulled out of one of our distribution centers and is here in our Meridian warehouse by the next morning and it gets delivered out. So um, we pride ourselves on next day delivery. Um, that's our standard. Some of the items, especially PPE right now, um, are lagging behind a little bit. So it, it might be more than today, but we try and uh, not extend anything out over a couple of days. And, and we do, we do call those customers that have back orders and let them know that, uh, you know, that what's going on and offer them substitutions um, or just want, you know, find out if they want to wait for their product. So um, very service oriented, very um, people oriented, um, you know, not a lot of emails going back and forth to customers unless that's what they choose. You know, our, our girls will call them. Um, if you're using our really cool chat line on our website, you are talking to somebody in Meridian. We do not farm that out to a third party. Jeff, that, that sounds great. I, I know uh, Michelle uh, has pl placed some orders that it's been same day delivery or uh, even, you know, re-delivery if we, if we didn't like the product that we got. You talked a little bit about people working from home. Uh, yesterday when we were talking, you were telling me that you're even making those deliveries to home, even though it may be small and and uh, challenging for you to do those deliveries, but uh, that's something you all have kind of taken up uh, to uh, to support some of the changes going on. Yeah, that's true. Um, like I said, you know, a, a big majority of our customers when the pandemic hit um, went home and are still home. Um, a lot of our, our large customers are not expecting to come back to work until January or well after January, 2021. Um, so we had to, we couldn't just sit here and wait for this thing to end. We had to adapt. 
And so we did go from um, a B, we still consider ourselves a B2B uh, business, but we are doing B2C and helping our customers that need, um, you know, office furniture that maybe they didn't need at home before, um, chairs, desks, um, you know, height adjustable desks. We, we sell a lot of those. Um, and just general supplies. Um, they can set up an account with us, and if their company's reimbursing them, you know, do that. And it's real easy to set up an account on our website at, at striveoffice.com. Um, and if your company has already has an account, we're very adaptable on the accounting side, how it goes. That's one of our strong points is we're very flexible with companies in their accounting and the reporting that we offer those companies. Um, you know, so we'll work with the customer. Like I said, I tell all our people all the time, find a way to say yes. You know, we have a customer that has a challenge. We need to, we need to find a way to say yes and be the problem solvers. So we will, we will make it work. Well, Jeff, Thank you so much for joining us today on Business Buzz and be sure and make sure you're supporting local businesses when you're ordering your office supplies and your workplace uh, solutions. Jeff, thank you for joining us again. You have a great thank day. You. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. So please join us this Thursday as we take you to a new clinic that's open in Meridian that might just help you see the world a bit differently. Vision Quest medical center um this thursday at 10 a.m thank you all very much and in the meantime please do your car part to keep meridian healthy and open for business mm -hmm.